Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of the Microsoft AZ900 exam. I am your host Neetu Rai from UpDegree. And let's get started. Question 91. Your company is planning to set up an Azure subscription and an Azure tenant using Azure Active Directory. Would the company need to implement domain controllers on Azure virtual machines to use the Azure AD service? Now, the options are Option A. Yes Option B. No And the correct answer is Option B. No Explanation Azure Active Directory is a completely managed service. You don't need to provision any infrastructure to implement Azure Active Directory. Question 92. Which tool within the Azure portal will make specific recommendations based on your actual uses for how you can improve your use of Azure? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Service Health Option B. Azure Advisor Option C. Azure Dashboard Option D. Azure Monitor And the correct answer is Option B. Azure Advisor Explanation Azure Advisor a tool that will analyze your use of Azure and make you specific recommendations based on your users across availability, security, performance, and cost categories. Question 93. Fill in the blanks. Dash is a service that offers a Windows 10 or Windows 11 virtual machine that runs in the cloud for use as your workstation. Now, the options are Option A, Azure Virtual Desktop. Option B. VPN Gateway Option C. Azure Web Apps Option D. Express Route And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Virtual Desktop Explanation Azure Virtual Desktop is a desktop and app virtualization service that runs on the cloud. Question 94 You want to use the Azure Key Vault service to store certificates in the Azure Cloud. Would this service meet the requirement? Now, the options are Option A. Yes Option B. No And the correct answer is Option A. Yes Explanation Yes, this is the right service to use for this requirement. With the help of the Azure Key Vault service, you can store secrets, encryption keys and certificates. Question 95 Which Azure service can be used to meet the following requirement? Be able to organize resources for billing purposes. Now, the options are Option A. Azure Resource Logs Option B. Azure Policies Option C. Azure Blueprints Option D. Azure Resource Tags And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Resource Tags Explanation Azure Resource Tags logically organize the resources into a taxonomy. Each tag consists of a name and a value pair. Option A is incorrect. Azure Resource Lock is used to protect from the accidental deletion of resources. Option B is incorrect. Azure Policies is used as a governance service for your resources. Option C is incorrect. Azure Blueprints is used to orchestrate the deployment of resources. Question 96. What is an Azure subscription? Now, the options are Option A. Each user account is associated with a unique subscription. If you need more than one subscription, you need to create multiple user accounts. Option B. It is the level at which services are built. All resources created under a subscription are built to that subscription. And the correct answer is Option B. It is the level at which services are built. All resources created under a subscription are built to that subscription. Explanation Subscription is the level at which things get built. Multiple users can be associated with a subscription at various permission levels. Question 97 Fill in the blanks. Dash is a command line utility that you can use to copy blobs or files to or from a storage account. Now the options are Option A Azure Data Factory Option B Azure Cloud Shell Option C AZ Copy Option D SFTP And the correct answer is Option C AZ Copy Explanation 
is that copy is a command line utility that you can use to copy blobs or files to or from a storage account. Question 98. Which of the following is used as a secured high-level application platform with built-in communication and security features for internet-connected devices? Now, the options are Option A. Azure Synapse Option B. Azure Sphere Option C. Azure Databricks Option D. Azure S2 Insight And the correct answer is Option B. Azure Sphere Explanation Azure Sphere is a secured high-level application platform with built-in communication and security features for internet-connected devices. Question 99. Select Yes or No. For the following statement, your company is planning on hosting a set of virtual machines in Azure. They want to save on the running compute cost for the virtual machines. Can they consider using reserved instances for this requirement? Now, the options are Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. Yes. By using reserved instances, they can get discounts when it comes to cost for Azure Virtual Machines. Reserved instances significantly reduce cost up to 72% when compared to pay-as-you-go prices. Question 100. Your company wants to deploy a set of Azure Virtual Machines. They also want to increase the availability of the underlying machines. As a solutions architect, you plan to deploy the machines across multiple subscriptions. Does this meet the requirement? Now, the options are Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation. Subscriptions cannot be used for improving availability. They are used more from a billing aspect for Azure resources. They have to deploy multiple availability zones to improve the availability. Question 101. Select yes or no for the following statement. You want to make sure that the virtual machine services in your Azure account are still available in the event of a data center failure. In order to achieve this, you decide to deploy the virtual machines across two or more availability zones. Would this fulfill the requirement? Now the options are Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. Yes. Availability zones can be used in the case of data center wide failure. Question 102. How does multi-factor authentication make a system more secure? Now the options are. Option A. It allows the user to log in without a password because they have already previously been validated using a browser cookie. Option B. It doesn't make it more secure. Option C. It is another password that a user has to memorize, making it more secure. Option D. It requires the user to have access to their verified phone in order to log in. And the correct answer is Option D. It requires the user to have access to their verified phone in order to log in. Explanation. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, the concept of having something additional to a password that is required to log in. Passwords are findable or guessable, but having your mobile phone on you to receive a phone call, text or run an app to get a code is harder for an unknown hacker to get. Question 103. A company needs to deploy a set of virtual machines on their Azure environment. The security team mandated that the servers have to be deployed on a separate network segment. Which of the following could be used to deploy the server so that it meets the company's needs? Now the options are Option A. A separate resource group Option B. A separate virtual network Option C. A separate network interface for the server Option D. A separate account for the server And the correct answer is Option B. A separate virtual network Explanation If the server needs to be isolated, then consider deploying a new virtual network for the server. Question 104. You are planning to create an Azure free account. Which of the following is correct when it comes to the Azure free account? Select two options. Now, the options are Option A. You get free access to all services for 12 months. Option B. You get USD 200 worth of credit that you can spend during the first 30 days of sign up. Option C. 
After the 30-day period or USD 200 worth of credit is over, you need to convert to a pay-as-you-go account. Option D. You only need to have a valid mobile number to sign up for the account. And the correct answer is option B. You get USD 200 worth of credit that you can spend during the first 30 days of sign up. And option C. After the 30 day period or USD 200 worth of credit is over, you need to convert to a pay as you go account. Explanation Azure free accounts are available to all new Azure customers who haven't had a free account previously and received a $200 credit. Option A is incorrect because you don't get free access to all products, just the popular ones. Option D is incorrect because you also need to have a credit card or Microsoft account in hand. Question 105. A company is planning to set up a solution on the Azure platform. The solution has the following main key requirement. Be able to collect events from multiple sources and then relay them to an application. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? Now the options are Option A. Azure Event Grid Option B. Azure DevOps Option C. Azure Kubernetes Option D. Azure DevTest Labs And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Event Grid Explanation Azure Event Grid allows you to easily build applications with event-based architectures. Event Grid has built-in support for events coming from Azure services like storage blobs and resource groups. Event Grid also has support for your own events using custom topics. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.